All right, welcome back to the jungle. We're playing more Briar on PBE just a couple days before she's released. Here's what the green chroma looks like on the skin. I'd rate this one 6 out of 10. It makes her very pink. Didn't expect that. That guy's pretty weak, surely. I'm just going to finish him off. I'll be starting my blue anyways. I don't want any shenanigans. This time I'm running absolute focus and water walking. I tweeted this the other day and I was thinking, maybe Briar is built for skirmishing. And if you skirmish for the scuttle, then water walking in absolute will give us nine more AD whenever we're level four. So I'll just try out these runes, see how they feel. I know water walking is inevitably going to be good, but absolute focus is kind of weird. It doesn't give you a ton of AD, so it definitely has to be comboed with like the water walking and then the conqueror itself will also give you um, I believe it's 17 AD level 4, so we're compounding like all those bonuses together to then slam into the enemy and hopefully have more damage against them. Because whenever the passive is fully stacked, you can get up to a 150% AD ratio, which is pretty nice to work with. Like, usually you have to wait for like ultis and stuff to have AD ratios like that. The AD also just helping our basic auto attacks here, helping the chomp, helping the Q giving us more damage there, so that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully the Rengar started red, because I want to end on the same side that he does, so that I can fight him for the Scuttle. If he doesn't, then yeah, good luck to us utilizing these runes all together, because we gave up Sudden Impact and Relentless Hunter for them. Both of those runes being generally useful, because Sudden Impact gives us damage the same way the Water Walking in Absolute would. It gives us Lethality. So, it's almost the same as giving us AD. So let's try to finish up this clear as fast as possible. So we can end in the river and kick this Ringar's ass. And prove LS wrong, once and for all. Because he replied and said, Sudden Impact and Merlinless Hunter is probably better for solo queue. Which was a very, like, you know, fine statement. But we're going to prove him wrong right here and now. I think, let's save our E cooldown even though we could instantly kill these. Surely we can do a faster clear as well. I don't want to gank bot lane, guys. I want to fight. I want to fight their jungler. But the bot lane gank is so free. Hello, friends. W, Q, auto, auto, auto. Okay, flash, chomp. Nice. Nice one. Fully charge the E. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And just like that, LS is proven wrong. I didn't even get a fight in the river. Let's help these guys push the wave. That's that's like a good example, kind of, of like why the flash is useful though. Nobody expects you to move. Oh, E? I think I'm fine. Run! I blame LS for that death, I'll be honest. Now they have a lot of burst damage here, and we've kind of learned our lesson from the from the previous games where if I don't go Gore Drinker, then I stop functioning. <laughs> I can go Stride Breaker too. Stride Breaker would be fine, but like Gore Drinker and Sterax is really the juice when they have a lot of damage. And that's what they got. A whole lot of carries and a whole lot of damage. Uh, Ringar's yet to show too. Let's go ahead and check this top scuttle. Yep, she's very pink. I wonder what's in her diet. Damn it. So if this scuttles up, that means bot scuttle is down. Meaning that I could have fought the Rengar. Dude. Why did the bot lane have to feed? So much for trying out my funny runes. Yeesh, you're gonna give me 9 AD, baby. But one thing about water walking too that you have to consider is it helps you get into the enemy jungle faster. It helps you fight on the objectives better. And then it also helps you when you're moving towards the ganks. Relentless Hunter helps you at every stage, though. So even when you're walking back from base to the camps, then Relentless Hunter is helping you. As I would be walking from the wolves to here, Relentless Hunter would be helping. So that's kind of the exchange that we go for. I'll clear all these camps. This will get us close to level 6. And I'm also just not seeing any early ganks here. Varus and Seraphine are very much like level 6 champs, so I'm not missing out on anything by clearing these. Let's ward the dragon, just in case Rengar would want to 
sneak this. An ally has been Go ahead, slain. place... Oh, I don't even have this binded. Go ahead, place the warp. Thank you. Wah. The mini golem was left from the old golem, but the new golems are up. I've seen this glitch like a couple times recently. Especially whenever I was playing Zyra. The small golems would stay alive for some reason. The bottling's inting again. Guys, I want to fight the Rengar in his jungle. Oh, huh? Cinder's trolling. W, Q, auto. Nice, it targeted Syndra. Slowly but surely here. Dink. Into the wall you go, Buster. <laughs> so much damage. Maybe if I push this wave, then I could get level 6. Chomp. Nice, got level 6. Uh, it targets the Heimer turret. So with level 6, now if I find the um, Ringar, then I could just ult him. And then anytime the enemy laners are trying to recall, or if they're CC'd, W, auto, auto. Oh, this guy kicking my ass! Chomp. E. Boom. Oh, he still goes into the wall. Ulti. I'm so st I'm really something, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Alrighty, Ringar is dead. Run! Kasante's coming to kick my ass. Is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, we have an entire enemy team problem here. <laughs> Wait, right here, right here, right here, right here. Surely Cassante just waddles on in like he owns the place. Yeah, he thinks he's real hot. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay, W, Q, A, A, Chomp? A. Nice, not bad. And I could, uh, I could make the excuse that water walking- Oh, God! Get away from- W, Chomp. Q? Come on, Betsy. The AD wasn't enough. If only I had sudden impact. I mean, that was close. Let's do Gore Drinker boots. I'll get a Control War 2 just to piss LS off. That's a waste of gold. Shut up. Shut up. You hoard all your money IRL and you want me to hoard my money in game? No, 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 no. You know what they say? You gotta spend money to make money. And if you gamble, you could win it big. Use uh, LS's discount code on his esports bet site thing and you could get a billion damn dollars. <laughs> Listen, Jeff Bezos. You, you could Jeff Bezos. Let's, uh, let's get level 7 here and then look for a fight with the ulti. Now that we have Gore Drinker, the ability haste is a lot... We have more ability haste, so the ulti is on a pretty good cooldown. Only 90 seconds on this bad boy. Whoops. And then the ability haste also plays into the W and Q, especially once we get towards level 11. Jump. Okay, my ulti is up, friends. Look for the Rift Herald here. That will kind of set up Jace. Chomp. Oh, whoops. The chomp is like uncancelable. You can think of it like, um, like Vi E. It, whenever Vi E auto attacks, like even if the enemy flashes away, then they're still gonna take that damage. So whenever the Rift Herald does the shove, you can use the Empowered Chomp to make sure you get that damage. Damn, he's already dead. I guess I'll drop this mid because Top only has one plate left. An enemy has been slain. Do I want to attack Mr. Casante with Syndra behind him? Not so much. You know what they say, a big fella with a girl behind him, he could, he's liable to do anything. I want to find Rengar and fight him. Nice. Nice, Rengar, come to the red buff, I dare you. Rengar, okay. Let him use his abilities. Let him use the empowered abilities. Okay. Let's just ult his ass. Point blank, how about that? And you'll never get away. Q, W, Chomp. Nice. So many of the comments say, why don't you use the ulti? And it's, listen, I just did. W, Q, A, 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 oh. A, Chomp, Core Drinker, nice. Don't, don't. Oh, come on. Grow up, man. I can Q to Jace, right? No, we tried. 
Even in PBE. Listen, if a, if a PBE player can kill me on Cassante, maybe that champion's a little messed up. We just saw in LEC Finals, Cassante went nuts. We've seen it everywhere in the world, okay? Maybe Cassante's just a little bit too much, huh? They got a lot of AD damage. I think I'll go... Mm, boots of Swiftness. Into Sterax. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ulti coming up soon. With um, Briar's W, you get this percentage up to 60% movement speed increase. That's more than Ghost, by the way. So I don't think you need extra movement speed. But then it's a percentage increase, and then Boots of Swiftness is the highest flat amount of movement speed you can get with the Boots. If we ran Free Boots, that could be even higher. But we ran Water Walking, so it is what it is. Actually, Water Walking gives you a flat amount too. Interesting. That's not bad. But yeah, I think Boots of Swiftness have a place for Briar, just to simply stay on top of the target. In a pretty offensive way, too. Let's throw a let's throw a wild one out here. Right there. Boom. Oh yes. Oh yes. And then and then W flash. Oh, I guess I'll go. I, it's, it, what is it doing? Ugh, Gore Drinker. It did Wah. 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 Oh, here comes the whole enemy team. Why didn't it target the Syndra? I thought when I cast W, it, it would retarget. I gotta get out of here. I gotta think of my children. Shit. So because I ulti the Rengar, it just stays on the Rengar. I thought if I WQ'd the Syndra, it would then target her. But the ulti makes it where you stay frenzied on that same person until they die. <laughs> until they're dead. So you don't necessarily get to choose who you're going to be hitting. I kind of like that though. It, it honestly makes it more fun. Let's drop this Rift Herald before it's too late. Huh? Oh, imagine I have ulti right here. I'd be so set up. Nice! Nice one. Really good Seraphine ulti. Drop that over the wall. Hello, partner. Now, we got a problem here, but nothing we can't solve now, is it? Uh, maybe we should <laughs> just run away. You can Q towards your allies. I was reading the wiki the other day, and it says that you can Q your allies, but you can also Q the jungle plants, too. Look at this. Seraphine's right there. Yoink. <laughs> so, if you ever need to escape, that's one tool that you can use. Back to full HP for us. Now I'm really waiting for a fight to start. Where this turret's up, it's pretty awkward for my team. And if I take a fight into their jungle, like, of course, Varus, like, Varus isn't coming. I look too grouped up. I'm on my own. Doing my own thing. I'm ulting into mid lane. Here I come. Hitting Cinder, my boo thing. We're gonna WQ, Gore Drinker. Auto, Chomp. Oh, it's so much damage. So much good damage, too. I, like, yeah, I am pretty fed. I have this, I have the pickaxe and the longsword. In a real game, I bet I would only have the Gore Drinker, but I would only need, like, an extra auto or two. Alrighty, we ulted. We killed someone. Job's done. Let's farm the camps. We want to farm these camps even though, like, we're getting all these kills, so that we get to level 11. With jungle catch-up XP, so long that you farm your camps, you're going to, uh, be higher level than the enemy. Now, they're pretty low level, so these camps aren't, aren't doing too much for me, I'll be honest. Ugh. Gives me an okay amount of XP. But once I do these camps, get the Rift Herald and whatnot, then we should be in business. Because level 11 will give us... Rank 2 on our ulti, giving us more damage, lifesteal, move speed. And then lowering the cooldown, baby. About 20 seconds off that cooldown. That's what we're looking for. So Sterax, and then from here... Who cares? That's the fun part. So let's just get another Ruby Crystal and figure it out later. I really thank you. Just keep stacking AD and HP items. So I'm going to go Titanic Hydra. Um, that gives me kind of a lot of damage. I could also go Black Cleaver. I could also go... Let's see... 
Um, so AD and HP. Spear of Sojin isn't worth it. Edge of Knight's fine. Chainsword is fine. But I really like Black Cleaver or Titanic Hydra. Who wants to get ulted, huh? Gah! A swing and a miss. You miss 90% of the shots you don't take. I'm going in. I don't care. Chomp. Oh, nice one. Think. 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 Well played. Oh yeah, I have Rift Herald. Nice, rank 2 ulti. This bad boy is on a 70 second cooldown. With only the ability haze from Gore Drinker. So, on Twitter, someone said maybe Transcendence, and I was like, nah, just don't do nothing. So, even if I had 10 more ability haste, it wouldn't really matter. Nope. Now, even though I'm at like, what, 900 HP, if I chomp one camp, I'm going back to full, baby. Look at how slow I am, though. Damn. Oh, I didn't run overheal, too. Damn it. Overheal would keep me at higher HP so that I could maintain absolute focus longer during the skirmish. Whoops. Thank you, Mr. Gangplank. Sterex gives you 40 AD as well. Um, Briar's base AD is pretty good, so getting a BF sword off this item is not bad. Pretty similar to Gore Drinker. Um, I want the AD. Let's do it like this. Pickaxe and double ruby crystal. That gives me as much stats as possible. I don't care too much about having... Obviously. Obviously we don't care too much about having the cleave of, t of Tiamat. But Titanic's cleave is different because it deals damage... Deals that extra physical damage based on... Um, your amount of a HP, right? Yeah, HP. <laughs> So then it's also comboed with the cleave that's built into the W. Oh yeah, I could just ult these guys. I'm going in. That was a clean hit. Hello. Q. Auto. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening. A little soon on my chomp. E. Nice. Yes, this is the Sterex core drinker. W. Q. Chomp. More. More. I'm starving. Oh, I'm starving. I need to eat. Yes. Delicious. <laughs> the Gore Drinker is so good, I swear. So that shield was a thousand damage shield. Totally utilized. Completely utilized right there. And then Gore Drinker heal. Is 45 plus 8 of our missing health. So the lower we are, the better it is. It's weird, like, if we want to cast this before the W, but I'm pretty sure we want to get as low as possible and then cast the Gore Drinker and then cast the W. Because dealing more damage to them, and then the lower they are, the more damage the W deals. Because the Chomp heals so much anyways, whereas the Gore Drinker would benefit a little bit more the lower we were. Let's just run it down mid, actually. I'm almost in range for my ulti. Damn. Wait, let's shoot this bad boy right down mid. Surely we hit someone. Let's do this. And I missed everyone. <laughs> well played. <laughs> just wait, everyone. Just wait. I don't have Relentless Hunter. Just give me a second. I'm on my way. Nah, but LS is gonna be like, the water walking, you weren't even in the river. Shut up. Stop being right, damn it. Alrighty, GG, not bad. Alrighty, thanks for watching, unless your name is LS. Alrighty, see you in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.